Schön. Good morning, everyone. Welcome. Today we have a day filled with content. Yes, it's the day you've all been waiting for. The day you've all been asking for. Tell us when are you going to watch anime on stream again? And let me tell you, that day has finally come. It's finally here. Today we will be watching Nam Washniak. Or if you turn it backward, it's um, Chainsaw Man. The number one hit anime of the new season of anime. I haven't seen a single thing, so no spoilers. But yes, today we will be watching on stream Nam Wozniak. Uh, I think there's only um, a few episodes available, so won't be too much things to watch. But, you know, we got to start small somewhere. If we watch, you know, something else, it might attract too much attention. So... Um, Chainsaw Man isn't that popular, right, guys? Because if we, if we pick something too popular, we might get, like, um, snitched on. Because they're more protective of a uh, new IP. It's like, a, it's like an underground anime, right? <laughs> There's also a new TFT set that I'm going to check out right now. It's been a while since I took a TFT set seriously. I'm gonna try out this one, see how it feels. If it's good, maybe I'll take it seriously. Maybe I'll try and hit Challenger for a season. Um, the new World of Warcraft pre-patch is also out too. So there's the new class evokers, but I don't usually play WoW on stream. Uh, T65, thank you for the sub. Okay, this is set. Extra reserve, thank you for the sub. Soju Boss, Fugeki, Janders, Kurali. We do not diddle kids, thank you for the sub. Pug Gorilla, uh, Candyman, uh, Ninja, thank you for the sub. Ocean, thank you so much for the sub. Nice to see you, man. Are there a bunch of streamers that play well together, but only off stream? Uh, someone usually streams. I have no idea what I'm looking at. The, I see a man with a chicken suit. I'm getting him. I did not get the man with the chicken suit. I'm getting Silas. Who's the man with the chicken suit? What, what unit is that? Galio. Okay, I got Silas, who's an Anima Squad and a Renegade. I don't know what that means, but uh <coughs> I don't know what that means, but seems good. Blitzcrank? Blitzcrank is back? This gives me Brawler, which is not Bruiser. Bruiser and Brawlers are two different things. Oh, wait. Blitz not, doesn't hook anymore. Blitzcrank creates an empower field around himself, reducing all damage taken by 40% for 4 seconds. Okay. Who's this? Fiora. Who's this? Yumi. What's happening right now? Information overload. Okay. I have Anima Squad. What is Anima Squad? 
build fame for scoring champion kills. So if you build fame for getting champion kills, you want a significant amount of them, right? Recon heart. Your team counts as always having an additional recon. The healing and shielding. Luden's echo. I don't know, man. Now that these seem particularly good. Um, but I also don't have any healing. There's also the new trap claw. It's also Luden's Echo. Uh, laser Core Heart. Second Wind Battle Mage. Second Wind seems generally good. Hang on, hang on. I'm confused. Hang on, I'm stupid. Ox Force. What is Ox? And what do they force? Gain a range of attack speed that ramps up. This Cho'Gath is shooting a giant laser. Okay, when I'm confused, what I like to do is sell everything in Econ. But since it's a new set, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to double down and buy a whole bunch of crap. Okay, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. That's, that's good. That's a good thing. We did a good thing here. And then we put in... We don't put in anything. We're chilling. We put in a red buff. And win through the fact that we have three two stars. Okay, what's the Fiora? Launches at our enemy, deals physical damage to all enemies hit. Uh, shield. Silas. Heal himself for 150 health and deal 12% of his maximum health as damage. Wait, I lost? I'm not supposed to lose. I have three two stars. Ooh, another ox. So this gives me ox force. Which is meh. Um, this gives me ox force. What does this give me? Ox force, right? Ox force. Or I could put in a duelist. Because Duelist seems better than Ox Force. Duelist scales up. She gets 50% attack speed the more she hits. There's a Duelist though. What is Kale? Oh, Nyla. It's right in front of me. The answer. Nyla. Guardian Nyla. Um, cloak for I don't know. So Star Guardian is back in. Admin, Renegade, who are you people? 
Show Ga, Laser Core, Camille, who's also a Renegade. But right now, the carry is seems to be our duelist. So these two guys should be in the front. Um, I don't need the cow, right? Dude, Silas sucks. He heals for like half, like half a bar of HP. Pretty sure my gangplank out did no damage there. All right, uh, econ, 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 econ. I can sell these three, and if I win, I make econ money. I should p try and put all my units up front because I have second win, right? Spread the damage a little bit. This guy is weak. This guy seems weak. This guy seems weak as well, although he is level five. What does Nala do? Whips her whip, whirls her whip blade. Whips her whirl blade. Dealing 90 magic damage to nearby enemies while healing herself and her allies for 250 over one second. He, he has underground, which is the new pirates, Lost Streak. The more you lose, the bigger you lose. That's cool. Renegade, last Renegade, Allied deals bonus damage. Ox Force, they gain attack speed, the lower health they are. Admin, they do something really weird. Anima squad, the more they kill, the more health they get. Okay. Brawler, just health. Super. Strike a pose that grants your team 20% bonus damage. Increases by 6% for every 3-star champion on your team. Oh, a reroll comp. Okay, okay, we should definitely level up here and put in something. I don't think Ox Force is that good, but it's the only synergy I can throw in right now. I just want to throw in Brawler. No, I'll throw in Ox Force. Alistair seems tanky. Uh, let's make... Uh... Bloodthirster. Healing is always good, right? Yes. Win, Fiora. Win. Oh, hero augment. You can turn one of your units into a hero. You can do hero Fiora. You can do hero Ramus. I can do hero Annie. Hmm. Why do you have, um, I do you have the Fiora, you know? Heals 1.5% of the maximum health. That 
doesn't seem like a lot. Oh well. Let's try it out. Yeah, call me crazy, but 1%? 1.5%? Oh god, my Fiora is dying so fast. Alright. Fiora, you you gotta win, buddy. I think a Rage Blade on her is probably pretty good. If she's gonna heal off um, attack speed. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, oof. Okay, okay. Nobody freak out. Everyone stop freaking out right now. 10% attack speed for Duelist. I bring swift death. And no other synergy. What a Chad play. Just like two tanks and that's it. Okay, I can get, I can get behind this. I should sell my Silas, right? I need frontline. I mean, the extra attack speed is good and all, but... God, I really am gonna make Fiora my carry. Okay, she's Ox Force and Duelist, right? I should look at Ox Force unit and Duelist units. So, anyone who's a cow is good. We like cows. We like cows here. And I lost switching to Duelist. <coughs> oh, God. Okay, I know, I recognize the cow. Please don't take Zed, please don't take Zed, please don't take Zed, please don't take Zed, you ass! And he takes my cow that we were two starred. I'll take the belt. I mean, maybe I can make something tanky. Okay, another Fiora. Gangplank seems pretty bad. All he does is shoot a guy, right? That's about it. Who's that? Mecha Prime. Oh, it's Mech. Mech is back? Oh, what? Okay, I have spent 10 minutes in the new set and I know this is broken already. Look at his hero augment and mine. His hero augment allows him to murder everyone. My hero augment, everyone heals for a little bit of health. Oh no, I picked the wrong hero augment. I don't think Fiora can be the carry. I think you just play her for her trait. And then you go Zed carry. Yeah, I think you go Zed carry. Bro, Fiora, you suck. You suck. I don't know how to say this nicely, but you suck. Vayne seems to be popping off, though.
Fires a heavy boat at a target, dealing 100 true damage. And then my squad recon. Yeah, Fiora doesn't seem to have good traits. I, I'm looking to pivot. What's the threat trait? Uh, threat trait has zero synergy. They're just scary. <laughs> That's pretty much the gimmick. They scale Ramus is also a threat. Ramus is a shield boy. Okay, okay, let's think. I have all these items that I don't know what any of them do. Mm, not a lot of AD items. I mean, I can make a Warmog. Now I can make a gargoyle stone plate. Brawler stand united axiom arc. I don't have a lot of traits active. Axiom arc, I guess. We need to sell Blitz Crank, he sucks. We need to sell. We need to sell pretty much all our guys. So, who's gonna be our carry? This guy has a Zed. It's not Fiora. It's probably a duelist. The only duelist that's a four cost is. So either we can reroll Vayne or we go Zed, right? I mean, this guy has Zed and he's kind of popping off. Talia. Hmm, I do have quite a few. You know what? I'm gonna roll a little bit. Samira, sure shot underground. Sejuani, brawler. Okay, that's definitely coming in. It gives me brawler and gives me laser core. When I run Yasuo, Fiora, and a fourth duelist somehow. Underground ace. Sure shot. Nice. Nunu, Jana. Nunu and Jana. Give me the Nunu. Give me the Nunu. Give me the Nunu. I don't know what he does, but I want the Nunu. Give me the Nunu. Give me the Nunu. Give me the Nunu. A bow? Gadgetteen mascot. Get in there, Nunu. Animus squad, Yasuo. Let's get 
Oh, this is it. All right, Nunu, show me what you got. What the fuck? <laughs> Nunu, what are you doing? Nunu. Nunu, what's happening? Nunu, you're just rolling a snowball. There's a giant... Oh my god, this guy's just cheating. He's not using half his items. Is this... This is broken, right? This guy is not using half of his items. And he's at 100% health. You may have figured out the system. I'd rather have Recon and Anima. Probably not Anima, right? Anima doesn't seem that good. But even you brawl us at this point. You can put in some threats. So Zed's a duelist and a hacker. He teleports behind his target and says nothing personal. Nunu throws the snowball. LeBlanc instantly deletes a unit. There's uh, Aurelian Soul? Okay, Nunu, um, no offense, but it doesn't seem like you're doing anything, so... Thank you for your service. Mecha Prime Jax. In a Jax, after every third attack, he gains 20% attack speed. This effect can stack. Cool, cool. No super cool. Anvil. Okay, let's go. Roll for his head. Stuck on a Z1. This is a Mecha Prime Leona that lasered my Sejuani tank instantly to death. Okay, so far it looks like the Mecha guys are really strong. don't need the bunny ribbon. We can play this guy. What else do we not need? We don't really need Syndra. We can play an Aegis. And this gives us Ox Force Aegis. What else can we do? Well, we can run... Oh! How's this? Defenders. Defenders or Aegis? Eh, Aegis seems better. Especially with the two star. Filios Ox Force. I think the sucky thing is um, I need an Edge of Night for my Zed. I think without dropping aggro, he just takes aggro too fast. 
<laughs> as a melee unit. Yeah, he needs um he needs Edge of Night. Z for Z. 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 Everyone type Z for good luck. Z for Ooh, fiddlesticks. Z for Z. Z for Z. Um Put in fiddlesticks. I don't know what he does, but put in a What? What is happening? Wait, is fiddlesticks popping off? Check the damage chart. I said Johnny Fiddlesticks. Anything for Zed here. This is a duelist thing. No, why would you take my Zed? I I hate stream snipers, man. This guy's for sure a stream sniper. He doesn't need that. He actually doesn't need that. He does not need the Zed. Why would you take the Z? It makes no sense. Z. Z. Ooh, okay. So this is your duelist emblem. What does that mean? That means you should put it on someone who hit fast. And now we can drop um, Vein for something useful. Dude, I swear Zed just goes in and dies. All right, let's learn Zed really, really, really bad without Edge of Night. And Mecha Jack seems completely broken. All right, let's try again. Fiora sucked, uh, Zed sucked. Um, the Juani AoE stun was pretty good. Fiddlestick seemed to be doing well. Um, LeBlanc seemed good. Mecha Jax is probably gonna get nerfed from what I saw. Let's go for a bow. Um, backline duelist seems nice. Uh, like the vein. If you just stay in the back with the rage plate, I think you can get your stacks up really high. Hi, Toast, big fan. I hate it when I play TFT and people start talking mad shit. I need, I need to mute this guy, man.
belt and Syrah portal. Like, I just want to be treated like a normal person. And he just says, like, these really, like, over-the-line stuff. Ooh. A lot of gadget teams, eh? Gadget Teen, create random modified weapon. Okay, so to get Gadget Teen, I need an Annie who's a two star. Star Guardians. I can't go Star Guardian with these items, right? Star Guardian seems like a combo you always need blue buff. Or I just say screw it, I'm going full Star Guardian, baby. Mascot or mascot that I Will and Cham, Cruel Pack, level up. Oh, wait, I don't have enough to level up. <laughs> Hope I don't lose this one. <laughs> Dude, if I, I'm gonna lose the game if I lose this fight. Don't lose this fight, please. <laughs> the absolute giga chadness. The absolute balls on this man. Hmm, if I didn't know any better, it looks like I'm losing. <laughs> I, had to, I had to make it Syrah Portal. <laughs> I was gonna lose that. <laughs> Holy. What? My units are so bad! How did I almost lose that? That's actually crazy. Yeah, that would have been really awkward. Come on, 1% legendary. Give me the Urgot. Give me that Urgot on tier 2. Damn. Sona is a heart. Which heart units do I have? I have a Lulu heart. This gives me Spell Singer and a heart, actually. I just need to not lose any fight. The second I lose a fight, it's just over for me. I can drop one Brawler, which means I can drop the Blitzcrank. Nice. 
feel bad for anyone who has to face me. They take so much damage. How did you heal three? Uh, cruel pack heals you for three every round. And I get to be first pick. Yes. Give me the spatula. Yeah, I'll take the sword. Infinity Edge is never bad. Right. Either you make a Jewel Gauntlet Infinity Edge or you make an Infinity Edge um, plus some kind of weapon on an AD unit. Talia. Summon the torrent of spiraling rocks in the line of enemy units dealing with it. Deal with it. I'll deal with it. Uh, Well, I have frontline right now, so I don't need more frontline. I just need to be really careful here, guys. I cannot lose a single fight. It's gonna be very, very careful. I'm seeing a lot of Star Guardians. This gives me Star Guardian Heart, right? And this gives me Star Guardian Defender. I hope I'm not making my team too weak. Star Guardian Vertical. You can never go wrong going a vertical from my experience. <coughs> but I do have what looks like physical damage items. Which makes going Star Guardian not that wise. Because there's no AD Star Guardian that I could see. They're all AP looking. Another Star, Star Guardian, Kaisa. Yeah, it's pretty AP as well. Sona can use blue buff. Keep that in mind. Belt doesn't seem that good. Cloak doesn't seem that good. Sword again? Okay, I don't know if... Yeah, I, I definitely can't. I can't, right? I can't. All these items. Bloodthirst and Infinity Edge. That's a physical damage comp. Oh, I can reroll it like a Chad. I can't level up, you know. <sighs> Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Okay, I need to find a physical damage user. Aces, aces, like Draven. Oh god, I'm gonna lose! Wait, this guy has not been beaten. What is he running? Lee C. 
in with just one dragon claw. His shield gains 1.3 thousand. Okay, I can see why he's not beaten. He's abusive. He's an he's an abuser. Operation. Uh, please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Okay, there we go. What does Misfortune do? Shoots bullet time waves. She seems to be an AP carry though. Oh, Echo. Dives in, grinding himself 500 shield, taunting nearby enemies when shield breaks. And the attack speed. Okay. We sell this, we sell this, we sell this. Probably sell this. It deals a hundred damage. That's it. That's all you do, set. Increase up to four hundred damage. That doesn't seem like good, set. Not gonna lie, buddy. Okay, we can get rid of uh, Sona. For Belveth, who will slap him. Alright, let's see Belveth. One, two, dash, slap, slap, two, dash, slap, dash, slap, 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 dash, slap, slap. Mmm, 800 damage for level 1 Vel Belveth with no items. Might be the play. I need to get rid of Misfortune. I'm not running her. Uh, take another bow. Maybe I can make um, Titan's Resolve on set and make him Punch Man. That seems good. Chat, hear me out. So when Zack dies, he makes a smaller oh, two smaller Zacks. And when that those Zacks die, do they make smaller, smaller Zacks? I should get these items on my Belveth. Sorry, said you're not. This Belveth is pretty much out damaging you. So how do I ask Set to give up his items nicely without having to sell them? I have to roll, right? There's no point saving money. 
corrupted red. Little stick comes to life once your entire team has died. Okay. So if my team doesn't die, he's just a scarecrow. Oh no, my big fan left. Why'd he go? Oh, he he got rolled. No, my big fan. Aurelian Soul. Call down three medias on random enemies, deals 180 magic damage, burns them, and wounds them. Underground Sure Shot. Urgod? Urgod? Urgod. Alright, get him, Urgod. Dude, I have no synergy. What am I doing? Claw fire, 5 attacks per second. He's dealing 45 damage. Let's see the tidal wave. Come on, Ergot. Any moment now. You outed zero units? Riot. 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 I need to have a word. I, I'm sorry, Riot. I... Why... Why would he target nothing? That seems bad. Right. I feel like it, when you make units in TFT, you want them to out, you know, the enemy and not... Thin air, because holding thin air doesn't really do anything, right? Am I, am I, am I the weird one? Holy! Gain a set and then lock out the iron slayer after your shield team. Your team's shields break. Set recharges them at forty percent. Well, I mean, I'm kind of going set, so I'm all in, baby. Why do I have a Belveth and a Samira and no way to synergize them? Toast, clear your mind. Go heavy on the defenders. Think about it. Okay, here comes the wave! Nothing happened. Not absolutely nothing happened. You're supposed to knock them forward and stun them. Now I make Super Prime set. What does Becca Prime do? Come on, it absorbs their health. Gain 65 and 75. Okay, okay, okay. Mecha Prime set. Let's go. Ergot, if you, if I, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna say it. If you screw up one more time, I'm gonna have to sell you. Like I don't want to. But you're really letting me down here, buddy. Alright, Seth. Punch him. Punch him, Seth. Bah! Eh, that really doesn't do much. Oh, wait! Urgot found me a bow! Thank you, Urgot. 
Okay, said you once you also punched the thin air again. What's what's with this team? Said you punched the thin air twice. What are you? What what's happening? What's happening? Talk to me. Okay. Um, there seems to be a small problem. My unit seems to love Alton nothing, which is really, really affecting um our chances of winning. I got fires, five claws, five attacks per second. So if I give them more attack, is that's not going to increase it, is it? I need twenty-eight here, right? Huh? Did I do the math wrong? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Upgrade, please! I did the math wrong. I did the math wrong. Oh god. Oh no. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake! It costs 6 health to level 4? To level for 4 XP? Oh my. Is that kind of... Okay, is that kind of popped off there. You got a good punch in. Thank you, Papa. Okay, not gonna lie, said. Why he kinda... Why he kinda sick with that fist? What am I even looking for? Everything's kinda like... Buffed. Yeah, everything's kinda sad here. Okay. Just hope I don't die. If I can live next round, if I can just live, if I could just live, I'd be so happy. Punch him, Seth. Punch him. What? Punch. Okay, Urga, there we go. Alright, Sam, one more time. Come on. Show Papa a good punch. Come on, come on, Sam. One more punch. One more punch for Papa. Don't tell Seth this, but I don't think he's that good. I need to drop a brawler, right? For Aegis. Or I just run four defenders. Star set, let's go. Come on. One punch man. 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 One punch man, where are you? I could not find one punch man, you guys. And now I'm gonna die. This is a three star Lee Sin! It's 
Stun. Please. Please stun him. Please stun him. Please stun him. Wait, I have a fiddle sticks. He's coming to life. Let's go, fiddle. Clutch it out. <laughs> he did nothing. He did that. He did absolutely nothing, lads. Uh, ab absolutely nothing. Set is also bad. He's too much of a support to make like a physical carry. I think you just go with like a Samira or Bel Belvet look good though. I think Set is just meant to be a tank. He's got like a physical damage aspect of it, but. <coughs> Wrong items I on set. I don't think it was an issue of wrong items. I think set is just not designed to be an AD carry. It's the main problem is that it takes too long for his ult to pop off. It's a good three seconds of charge up. Belveth looked good. Belveth looked really good actually. What was the carry from Mech? Um, Jax won the last game I played. So maybe like a Jax. Interesting enough, Deathblade is now percentage based. So you want to put Deathblade on a unit with high base AD. I don't know who that is, but. Lee Sin seemed broken. His shield numbers was insanely um, overtuned. He gained 1.3k shield at a two star. Definitely on the high side. <coughs> a hammer does most of the work. I just swing it. Sixty armor, Poppy deals one hundred sixty eight damage. <gasps> Lollipoppy reroll. Anyone remember Lollipoppy Lollipop reroll? Star Guardian? Oh man, that was that was that was sick. Aegis emblem. Seems boring. I'm gonna go Portable Forge. Trinity Force, Mana Zane, and Death Defiance. Mana Zane. What's my grab? I mean, you can get some cool stuff with Mana Zane, right? Death Blade, Death Defiance. Mm, we can make something happen here.
So you want someone who's kind of in the thick of things. Let's sell for econ. Argentine prankster hacker. Actually, oh, super brawler. Oh wait, I got two pranksters here. Dude, that's such an epic prank, man. So if we play prankster, we should put them in the front. So, okay, that's the prank. It spawns a target dummy, which is a sick prank. Oh, wait. And the next prank is it turns itself into a target dummy? Ultimate prank? That's Defiance. <coughs> Death Blade. What else? I could make a hurricane, but it doesn't seem like it fits. Edge of Night might be decent to drop aggro. Put it on a Zed, have him jump the back line. How's Riven as a carry? No, not very good. She doesn't really scale off AD items. So Anima Squad gains 15% AD and 15% AP and gain fame every time they kill, which gives them more health. So the earlier you play Anima Squad, the better. Prank, another prank, two pranks. We want to lose this? No. Losing that would have been good. Zoe is doing good damage actually. 1.4k with zero items. She seems like a good AP carry, like Cassiopeia in set. Five? No, set three.
I don't think you give Zoe um blue buff, right? Actually, maybe you do. Ooh. Instead of three autos, it is one auto. That's also pretty good. But you can also pair him with the Shoujin. Or, I mean, I'm already going physical damage. I shouldn't think about going Zoe. Unless... Like, I have the recipe for a really good, like, frontline brawler carry with Death Blade, Death Defiance, and Titan's Resolve. I just don't know who that is yet. Who is that? Who fits the bill? Belveth. No, I feel like Belveth needs attack speed, right? I mean, we can try Belveth. Our god, our god is not an AD carry. Exile, double trouble, preparation. Hmm, all very reroll focused. But I don't know what to reroll. I just do exiles. Seems generally good. I can also put in Gadgetine, take out the Wukong, put in Poppy and Annie. See what Gadgetine is all about. Move my items from my Wukong to someone better. Ho oh, ho! This talent got pranked! Oh no, now he's killing my entire team. Just around the targets, unleashing a flurry of attack. He changes his cast, gains attack speed for the rest of combat. Dude! Look at this guy, he's just sl sl jumping around, slapping my whole team. I, I need one of those. Belva seems nice, for sure. Blue buff Zoe, so she debuffs the entire enemy team with bubble trouble. Hmm. How does that sound, chat? Seems good to me. What's that? Omnivamp. That's useless.
Let me read up on Viego. Becomes unstoppable. Leap the close to the closer. The only magic damage. There's so much um carries that you expect to be AD, but they're actually AP like Viego. Okay, so we dealt 3.5k, that's not bad. Especially since it's a one star Zoe. Shroud of st even stillerness. Mana reaves and chills and reduces. Oh, that's sick. Shroud of Brawler. Star Guardian Defender. Oh, this guy's going Jack's carry. <laughs> All these bubbles. If I can get Morello uh, on my Zoe, I think that'd be really good. Because she applies these so fast. And the item we made is Sunfire Cape. Glove bad, money bad, rod bad. Oh man. Okay, we got a free ribbon though, so that's good. We got three pranksters. Zoe is kind of carrying, kind of. Riven right now is kind of our tank, but she's not really supposed to be our tank. Oh, wow. The Sunfire applies it every one second. That's really good. Oh, this guy also has a Zoe. I can see a uh, Zoe carry builds. Slap on a blue buff for her and watch her go to town. Threat level maximum. Combat start. Threats gain 100 maximum health for every threat you have on board. Prankster. Wait. I can run a full team of threats? And they gain 100 health for combat start. Do they keep it permanently? No, right, that's that's too crazy. Prankster emblem. Do we want to prank him even more? Probably, right? I like pranking people. Of all the sick pranks we can pull off.
See, he broke the... That's weird. He broke the dummy, but he didn't get stunned for 1.5 seconds. Dude, I hate I hate losing because of a bug, but it's it's only PBE, you know. You can't blame them. Hand of non deterministic justice. I'm gonna level up here. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna level up again. <gasps> Mordekaiser. I don't know what to do, but go do it. Transform this, bring it into the realm of the Okay, and then do the, huh? Oh, this guy has that threat thing. Oh, Mordecai there drops a building on them. Mm, not a good prank. Uh, not a good prank at all. Not a fan of that prank. Elveth. Okay. The slap queen. Let's try this. Peace. Sure shot. Arsenal. Oh my god, Velvet, you're just in the enemy's face, aren't you? And she's dead. Um, Velvet, when you dash into the enemy team like that, you, you know, it's really, it's really hard for me to keep you alive. Um... Do not, um, could you not do that, Velvet, please? Thank you. Okay, here's here what we do. here's what we do. We hack, hacker Z. We hack him, right? Yeah, yeah, we hack him. Dude, that's doing good damage. Three point three thousand is pretty nice. We, we're still on um, so we won though, which is kind of bad. We have way too many pranksters. We should toss her. Keep this. Do we want to keep the Annie? I mean, she's only good for Gadgetine, right? So we can toss her as well. Mm, do we want to run a duelist, maybe? Uh. 
So Zed hops on a horse and charges into the back line and stabs them from the back. Okay, that's kind of weird. Mordekaiser drops a building on them. Ophelios, I don't know what you do. We have two Mordecai's on the board for some reason. Mordecai's there's a laser core. We technically don't need a Felios. Why not run two Mordecai's there? Yeah, Toast. Why not run two Mordecai's there? That's in the back stabbing a Velkaz. He's always kicking balls. Apparently I didn't kill anything. This full threat team is kind of scary. Threat level maximum and you run how many threats does this guy have? Eight threats. Wait, his entire teams are just threats. That's sick. Let's roll for some upgrade. There we got the threat. Or at least it was a threat. Prank, prank. Jax definitely seems to be one of the stronger three cost carry. Zed. I think Nunu is funny, but I kind of think he sucks. Yeah, Nunu is more of a funny haha -ha character. I don't have the items to support his playstyle. What is that? What is that? I've never seen that before. I He did 1200 damage. Honestly, I mean, is that really that much? Oh, right. I have exiles. Good call, chat. Which means I should be spreading my units. Oh, right, right, right. So I can't play Janna. Janna, <laughs> Janna is like anti-exiles, unfortunately. That's sad.
Put Mecha Leona on a walk here. Drop a building on him. Prank! Prank him! Prank him, Zoe! No, no, you're not helping. Okay, what I'm confused by is does it recast as it kills a unit? It casts this three times in a row. Uh, I don't think that's supposed to happen. Ooh, wait, hang on. Mordecai's a carry. Guy just drops a giant building on him. It's kind of unfortunate that the horse counts as a unit. Because uh, it screws up my exile potential. Ooh. Breakers, I have to. God, this Jax is so strong. So that's two games out of three where the winner is just a Jax spammer. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, I think Jax will get nerfed tomorrow. Usually this happens on day one of PvE. Where one unit is just far and away the most um, broken one. I announced this on Twitter earlier, but yes, we are partnering up with Crunchyroll <coughs> today to stream the new Chainsaw Man anime at 4 p.m. PST. And it has been quite the incredible journey. 
this has been in the works ever since I got banned exactly, well, not exactly, almost one year ago. And I kept telling my audience, hold on, chat. It's all part of the plan. And today I finally reveal what that plan is. It's so that we can get an official partnership with Crunchyroll. And now we can watch anime on stream legally. So it's pretty big. It feels bad because like when I got banned, a lot of um, viewers, they were, uh, they doubted. They said there was no plan. And, you know, honestly, it feels, feels pretty bad. And I wanted to tell them what the plan was, but I couldn't because, you know, these things take time. Um, but now it's finally all coming together. I'm going to go blue buff uh, opener, see how it works. Shoujin. <laughs> I like Zoe, but I don't know how good she is uh, as a late game carry. Which region can watch? Uh, any non-Asian region, because in Asia, that's um, under a different jurisdiction. Underground? Hmm. Underground seems like a great way to lose the game very fast. But I'm so curious at what the rewards are if you complete underground. No, it's a bad idea, Toast. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, man. It's not worth it. Okay, well, if I pick Tiny Titans, that means I can heal for a lot. The more healing means more time to crack the underground safe. Well, tell us you convinced yourself. Say less. Say less, buddy. On enemy death, admin gained 12 per permanent maximum health. At 40% health, admins gain 100 mana. On ability cast, admins heal for 200. That seems kind of good. What? Wait, on cast, admins heals for 600. Isn't that good? That's a lot of healing. Especially early on. Well, maybe it's not that good. Actually, if we cast one more time. Toast, to go underground, you need to actually lose, though. That's the problem. And we all know you have a hard time losing because you only win. <coughs> That's true. That's true.
Every third attack restored 10 additional mana. Wait, they nerfed Spear of Shojin? Boo. Wait, did my talent heal for 200 there? Oh, because of his, okay. Mecha Prime. Well, I know Jax is kind of strong, but he needs um, items to make it work, right? Rage Blade, maybe RFC. I want to try underground chat, but um, I don't have any underground unit. How do you have five units on the board, sir? Not gonna lie. Jax is kind of OP. Uh, Jax with zero synergy did 2k damage. God, look at all these people talking shit and chat. God, I can't stand it. I'm just trying to enjoy myself, you know? You're being so mean. Increases the uh, attacks up to 10 times. Bones in here with uh, the third attack. Jax leaves the target and deals 120 more every third attack. He's only every third attack. Jax up to 10 times. No wonder he's strong. He's beating the crap out of people. <laughs> like the numbers on this bad boy? Okay, I'm gonna abuse Jax one game just to see how strong he really is. I'm not actually gonna keep abusing Jax, I promise. I'm just I'm just curious. I don't think I can run underground at this point. As fun as that would have been. Two Jaxes, say less. <laughs> I figure out what would be better than one Jax. <coughs> I legitimately think this is like my best option. Oh, this guy's running underground. That's fun. No, no, the number one counter to Jax. Him doing nothing. Yeah, it doesn't matter. If I get a bow for my Jax and he has a Rage Blade, I don't know what his third item would be. An RFC.
So what would make the best Jax build? Um... Probably just keep re-rolling mechs. Maybe slap a QSS on him so he can't get stunned. Just have him like beat the absolute crap out of anyone he comes across. Yeah, no, it's over. The game's over. Thanks for playing. Prime designated brawler Jax. Transform. What the hell, bro? What the hell? Why aren't you transformed yet? Now there's no way my Jax beats his entire team. No! Now I'm gonna starve. No, still one. Now with my prime selector. Nice edge. Does Jax want AD or AP? Probably AP, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. She, he scales off magic damage way more. Prime Selector Jax. <laughs> Feast your eyes upon my king. Do I want Talon? Eh, Talon, you're out. You're out, Talon. Someone else is coming in. Super Jax. Do, wait, do I do? Do I give him Jewel Gauntlet? Is he an AP-based monster? that bonk I think he definitely wants rage blade for sure yeah I think Ginsu QSS is better you just want him to like bonk a lot Four brawler, four defender. I I just need I just need my front line to be as tanky as possible, so that my jacks can just keep punching things. Bro, this is not even fair. I should not have picked Tiny Titans because it's doing nothing for me. I haven't even taken any damage yet to take advantage of it.
I could use either one more brawler or one more defender, right? I can drop Riven, but I mean, I'm already getting the defender for free with the Mecha Primes. Six Brawlers, so that Jax has a crap ton of health. Oh god, wait, they might kill Jax! Jax! Stay in there, buddy! Punch him! He needs a crit, he needs a big crit! Big crit! Big crit! Yeah. Yeah. Definitely need a rage blade for my boy Jax. LeBlanc is a hacker. Every three auto, someone dies. Every three autos. If I get a sword, I'm just making Infinity Edge to make him uber bonk people to death. Jaxes though. Admin heart. Jax on a horse. Horse Jax. Horse horse Jax, guys. Am I the only one that sees this? Horse Jax? Horse man? Why is no one talking about the man of horse? He gets on a horse! Oh wait, he forgot to get on the horse. Uh -oh. oh no, this is bad. He didn't get on his horse. Now I'm gonna lose! No, Jax! Stay in there, buddy! Punch the Belveth! Punch the Belveth! Bonk it! Nice. Tried fiddlesticks, you really tried, huh? <coughs> mm, probably just a drawn here. Who am I replacing? Oh, this guy. Okay, I need to put this guy up here. I need to put the horse up here. I need to put the jacks here, right? For battle mage. And then brawler. How good really is horseman jacks? 
when you think about it. I mean, he rides a horse, right? <laughs> then goes to the back. <laughs> and then he bonks the people in the back. This is either the dumbest idea I've ever had or the best idea. I haven't figured out which one it is just yet. I don't think is it worth it to have horse jacks? You're running a lot of bad units to make horse jacks a thing. Morella, your Sejuani. I kind of hmm, might need it for Rage Blade. I'm about to have a three star. Um, Urban. Okay, playing down one augment feels pretty bad. Okay, I don't think the hackers work it or worth it. I'm running two subpar units. It's it's not. It, it can't be worth it. Like yeah, I get my jacks in the back line. Actually, it's pretty nice. Not gonna lie, if he skips all. Having Jack skip all the front line is pretty nice. Oh man. Like the f yeah, he's in the back line so fast already, right? Oh god. Oh god, Jax is getting... Oh no, he's fine. Oof. Absolutely massive, lads. So how much does he punch for now? Oh my god, look at that health total. Punch you, punch you, punch you, punch you. Punch you to death. Two, three, punch you to death. One, two, three, punch you to death. One, two, three, punch you to death. Le bonk. Alright, bathroom.
Okay. Now we just went out. Okay, horse the jacks. Horse the jacks. Horse the jacks. Horse jacks, horse jacks. They call me Mr. 130. I move it to the left so my jacks rides on his horse to his back line. Go, jacks! Kill the back line. So Johnny outs the entire board. Jax jumps the back line. Goodbye, Vayne. And beats up the Zax. Nice, 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 nice. The legendary Mr. 130. I've never, I've had a lot, I had a few Mr. 100s in my life, but I've never had a Mr. 130. And today, I achieved that dream. Go, Jax, ride to the back line. Yes! Kill the Jinx, then kill the Vayne, then kill the Misfortune. <laughs> Dude, I'm so cringe. Man on a horse. Nothing in life ever beats a man on a horse. Name one thing that beats a man on a horse. You can't. You can't. Nothing beats man on horse. Give me that ice cream cone so I can give it to Jax and have him lick it. Lick the ice cream cone, Jax. Lick it. Shroud everyone on the left. Oh, he moved his units. Cringe. Man on horse, go! Bunk the Mordekaiser. Now bunk the Yasuo. Mr. 130. Man, if you're not witnessing this game, that's really sad. But luckily, everyone in the chat can watch the stream right now, right? All right, guys.
throughout their entire team. Jump to the back, Jax, and beat the sh shit out of that Urgot. Oh god, wait, this team's kind of strong. Jax, hold on! Wait, he's getting perma CC'd! No, Jax! Okay, new plan. I take 14 damage exactly and call this a Mr. 100 still. Okay, this guy's team is just all legendaries, huh? It's a lot of crowd control. Hmm. How do I beat that? How do I beat that? Think, Toast. Think! I'm thinking we don't need a hack. The hackers anymore. I'm also running a one-star brawler for um, some godforsaken reason. Go Ionic Spark. Okay, so all mecha gain forty attack. The primary numbers. How do I beat that clump? Maybe I can just hope someone else beats him. His team seems pretty unkillable right now. I am a robot. Hear me roar. Roar. Oh my god, this guy's unkillable, man. He's unkillable. What do I do? What do I do? I can't kill him. I can't kill him. My Jax doesn't... Hmm. I think I just need a better front line. Wait, why did he concede? Huh? He quit? That's a big dub, boys! Wait, why did he quit? I want to see if I could beat him. I mean, I definitely beat this dude. This guy's trash. No offense.
All right. Go, Super Jax. His health bar's not moving. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> yeah, well, Jax is broken. I've played four games today. Jax won three out of four. But once everyone starts context contesting Jax, maybe, right? Right. I don't think my Jax even had the best item. I think Rage Play with QSS is probably better. Because he scales off like the amount of attacks he makes. Bonk, 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 bonk. All right, guys, let's get ready for a Chainsaw Man anime viewing stream. I can't believe it's happening. Getting paid to watch anime on the internet. This is what 13 year old Toast dreamed of. He said, I wish I can spend my adult life playing video games and watching anime and getting paid for it. And here we are. Playing video games and watching anime. <laughs> How did you get the sponsorship? Well, it all started in December of 2022 where i said to myself you know what i wish i wish i can watch anime and get paid money for it how do i make this a reality well there are anime streaming services on the internet right and and they do advertisement campaigns sorry 2021 i'm getting my dates mixed up we just get them to pay us to watch it. But how do we do that? How do we convince Crunchyroll of our value? Well, you got to show that uh, people would watch you watch anime. The only possible solution is to simply watch anime on stream and show that there is an audience for it. And because of you, chat, because you all showed up for those anime streams one year ago, you know, Crunchyroll saw that and they're like, wow, there's a lot of people watching this guy on Twitch watch anime. We should, we should sponsor him. And of course, there were some hiccups along the way. A lot of drama was created as a result of our action. We got blamed by everyone for ruining Twitch the platform, for making it impossible for small streamers to watch copyright content. And even though we knew there was a light at the end of the tunnel, we had to just be quiet and bear it. We had to let them talk their talk. Because we knew when the time comes, we would be the one watching anime on stream, not them. So instead of ruining the Twitch platform, instead what we did is we made it possible to watch anime on Twitch legally now. <laughs> Round of applause, everybody. Round of applause. <coughs> but yeah, um, it's really exciting. I'm very happy to be partnering up with Crunchyroll for this one. Like, no meme. I know I'm kind of like memeing about it, but... 
this is um this is all very exciting how many episodes we will be watching three episodes and chat if you want to support the stream and if you want to support our chances of getting the license to even more anime please go ahead and type exclamation mark country roll in chat and click on that link i'm not sure if that command is actually enabled no it's not enabled yet oh. Uh, is that enabled? Oh, it's exclamation mark chainsaw man. Does that work? Oh, there we go. Exclamation mark chainsaw man. <coughs> That's right, chat. We are legally streaming chainsaw man. Starting in eight minutes. 